Good day guys, MF West here, and I've done it. I am level 110. Um, I hit 110 about 36 hours ago. Um, and what can I say? Amazing, amazing fucking expansion so far. This is turning out to be one of my favorites so far, but it's still early days. Um, it's not going to compare to Burning Crusades, Wrath of Lich King, but let's see how it goes, guys. But um, basically, I'm just going to sum it up for you guys, the overall leveling experience as unholy, some tips and tricks. Um, and yeah, and for those wanting to know what I leveled as with my spec, this is my spec. I'm going to go into detail about the spec and everything in another video. I'm just giving you guys an overall review of that. And yeah, guys, all right, here we go. Alright guys, so I'm just going to let these clips roll out while I do a bit of commentary in the background. Uh, I was there on the live, when it went live, when Legion went live, and immediately I got the Apocalypse Artifact. No no decision there. Easy, easy decision, sorry. And um, had a bit of trouble actually getting to Karazhan because of the amount of Horde that was there. Holy shit, and because Boomkins, I think, had the same quest uh, line as us for the Artifact. Yeah, that, that was quite annoying. I was stopped there for about 15 minutes, but other than that... Um, yeah, Jesus, I love it. The artifacts quest line was awesome, really enjoyed it. Um, getting Apocalypse was sweet. I immediately put that ability on my bars. And I actually was very curious to see, like, how is this leveling experience going to be? Like, is it going to take a long time? Is it going to be quick? And I'll tell you guys, I played for eight hours straight and I got, um, six levels. Six levels. Oh yeah, here's, here's a freaking class hall. Alright guys, it is not the best class hall, but come on, it's pretty sick. We have a floating thing in the sky, that's not that bad. But yeah, I, I like the class hall, but not as good as the other ones. Uh, in this clip you can see the scenery. I think this is uh, High Mountain. Wow guys, really, really enjoy the scenery. As for my favorite zone, I think Azuna. I really enjoyed Azuna. I, by the way, if you guys want to know, I went Azuna, Ashara, High Mountain, Stormheim. And, um, yeah, jeez, guys, I really enjoyed it. Like, the scenery was amazing, and the questing was so smooth. Like, I had no problems of, you know, like, it, like it, the only thing that I had problems with maybe was in um, High Mountain. Some of the quests were really, like, kind of sketchy. It wasn't that good. Like, some of the quests were really, like, slow. But other than that, that questing was a blast. Uh, here, I'm on my glider. I'm actually trying to get to a quest zone. Oh, yeah, guys, you have to get gliders. Um, you actually need engineering to actually use them. You can actually buy them from the auction house, but if you've got engineering, that's a bonus. But these things are paramount for leveling. So important. I really, really like needed these. Like I would have spent hours trying to get to places if it wasn't for this for the Goblin Gliders. So yeah, tip for you guys there. And also Epidemic. If you're not leveling with Epidemic, you're high. This thing is amazing for pulling mobs and it actually does very good damage. Scales very well. And that brings me to uh, unholy DK damage. It's really good. I don't know. It's not. It's not bad. I okay, I know I'm gonna actually see the difference in PvP, but guys, in PVE, holy shit, it's amazing. The eight. Okay, first of all, like the Arbiter, Dark Arbiter, is doing so much damage. Uh, at the end of the uh, of the video, I'm actually gonna show you guys some instance clips. And I'm like 790 item level, and I'm doing like 350k burst as an Unholy Death Knight, who's supposed to be like the nerfed class. But yeah, as you guys see me come in here. I mean, so Azuna, like, I like how they made all the zones kind of separate, so everyone could go to their own zone when they wanted to. Um, it wasn't really clumped up like Kata and Ward, so that was good. I really enjoyed that. Um... Yeah, this this is another um, area. I really like the idea of it. The kind of like the Gilneas kind of look alike. Really cool. And some really sick cinematics in between all the clips. I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, I don't really spoil anything in these clips. But yeah, really sick cinematics, guys. Uh, you guys are going to definitely enjoy that. And um, leveling as a whole, is it easy? Yeah, it is pretty easy. Like when you kill a target and you get that 100% increased death strike, it really helps. You can just pull mobs and as long as you execute one mob, you get the death strike and you can kill the next one, the next one, the next one. So yeah, really, really easy leveling, guys. You will not have a problem. I think all the specs are actually fine because of that. Um, yeah, oh yeah, the whole thing about the Naga invading was pretty cool as well. That was pretty cool. I, also, like, I, could, I was actually sticking to the lore. I was actually interested in the lore. Like, I wasn't just like going through it like in Panda and what. Like, I didn't give a shit about this. I was actually interested in the lore. So, that was pretty cool. I really enjoy that. Um... Yeah, this thing reminded me of uh, Mr. Pandaria, that Hydra. What's it called in that raid? 
Mega Megaros or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that reminded me of that a lot. <laughs> Um, also at the end of the video I've actually included all my dings, well not all of them, because sometimes the scenario experience was just so much I just wouldn't expect the ding. Oh yeah, here's me fighting this elite, oh by the way guys, elite mobs, they're everywhere, like rares, it's rares, they're everywhere, and the good thing is they will always continually keep spawning, so if you miss out, if you just wait a bit, they'll respawn again. Um, yeah, really really awesome how Blizzard's done that, and they also drop artifact power. So, artifact power, how do you think, what do, I, what do I think about it in the artifact? Amazing. Artifact mechanic is amazing. Like, the fact that we have something to do, like, I'm 110 now, and I'm constantly doing stuff. There's always something you can be doing. It is awesome. This is a really gruesome part of High Mind. So I was like, damn, Blizzard, freaking gruesome. And this is, like, some of the bugs I got. Like, look, he's just spinning around like crazy, and, yeah. some There was, there was a bit of DDoSing, but otherwise really smooth all right guys so this is like um at a level 110 and i just want to show you the dps check it out on the side there thank god i got hero but look at it look at the burst like i get i dump as many death calls as i can into the into the boss and then i get after that you pop your apocalypse and damn it is the eight stacks of apocalypse crazy guys Whew, insane amount of burst damage and here's another example but yeah, the artifact's really awesome, the talent tree, awesome. I'm actually going down, I'm going downwards in the artifact tree first. And so I started off with 800 artifact power, right? Now I have a guess what it's going to cost me to upgrade a talent, just to spend into a talent, 6,800. So yeah, this it is true when they say you can level up your second artifact. There's no problem with leveling up a second artifact. It's, it's so much artifact power to level up now, guys. I think it's going to take about a month for me to finish the artifact by itself. And then, yeah, relics, relics are awesome, the idea of it's sick, you can always get better relics, and I uh, just remember that relics actually, they are the item level of your artifact, so the higher item level your uh, are relics, the higher item level your artifact, so it kind of scales like that. Um, some of the talents really helped out, uh, that one that, uh, when you use death coil, there's a chance for your scourge strikes, whenever you scourge strike a target to increase the damage by scourge strike by 30%, that was also very helpful. I'm trying to get now to the zombie that spawns and explodes at a target. I'm trying to get there, but it's going to take me fucking forever. Uh, I haven't PvP'd, by the way, guys, but I'm going to be releasing videos about that. A lot of Unholy Dicker content. All right, here's my dings. 103. So, yeah, I kind of missed out on a lot of dings, but, yeah. Okay, 103, this is going to be 105. The scenario experience is also insane, guys. Don't forget to do scenarios. They're really, really awesome and uh, very helpful in getting leveled up. So that's 105. Now I don't miss any, I think. Yeah, I don't miss any from now on. All right. 106. It was it was so quick, guys. Like I got six levels in eight hours. So it's definitely... And I was, I was taking breaks in between each level as well. So it's definitely doable, guys. In like 12 hours, you could easily do it, the whole thing. That's one of seven. So yeah, six levels in one day. The next day, I did um, four levels in like four hours. It was like, not even. like I was getting a level. One At one point, I was getting one level in one hour. That was insane. <laughs> so you can just imagine. There's one of eight. I left Stormheim for last. Awesome zone, by the way. Up to you guys how you do it. But I like leaving Stormheim for last because of the scenarios it has in it and all the cinematics and shit. 109, and here comes the famous 110. And yeah, 110 is awesome, guys. I'm having a lot of fun trying to go around the world doing wall quests. Bam! 110. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, guys.